All right, guys, what is going on? I'm in the Honda Accord. It's automatic. It's four door. It's a four cylinder that I picked up from a buddy of mine. I got it for a good price. Uh, it has 260,000 miles. It runs pretty good. There's no leaks. And today I'm gonna be cleaning these stains that's inside the car. As you can see, there's like a couple stains. I'm gonna be cleaning the stains with this thing that I bought from the dollar store. I'll show you guys in a bit. I'm gonna be cleaning the inside really good. It's pretty clean, but the rug's pretty dirty. I'm gonna try to clean that all up. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this car first. I'm gonna try to sell it, try to flip it, make some money from it. If not, if I can't make money from it, I'm just about to keep it, you know, daily this, work on the Mustang. So, I'm not too sure right now, but I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to clean the inside all clean. Uh, the outside needs a little bit of work. I'll show you guys in a bit. But today, is just clean the inside. All the stains. So, I'm just going to be taking off this shit. This dirty ass thing, because it's already loose. It's coming off. I'm going to super glue it back. Give it a nice clean up. I'm just about to take it off and get that cleaned and get it super glued on. It'll be all good. Alright guys, I'm going to be using this awesome, totally awesome cleaner. I looked them up, heard they were good to take off stains. And this is the, all the stains before. I'm going to be using that scrubber, I'm going to spray it. Got that at the dollar store. Let's see if it comes off. So um, what I'm doing, I'm I'm spraying them, letting it, the chemical, the thing sit for a while. As you can see, I sprayed this one. I'm just letting it sit. This one's looking good. I sprayed it. You can see some marks. And I grabbed the uh, towel, a dry one, and I try to take it like all off. And I'm gonna get water and squirt the uh, towel off because with the towel, once you uh, go over the seats where you put the, the spray. It's about to have some of that, so you just will uh, rinse in water, squirt it all out, and try to remove all the dirt and stuff, and keep doing that. And I'm finding that that's working good. And uh, the dirt is coming off of that spray, so that spray is good, just for a dollar two at the dollar store. So yeah, you guys should get this spray. Let me show you guys how it looks. Right here. It works good to take off stains for your uh, carpet and your seats. But it stays here, it stays on the bottom not to use on leather or glass. Alright bros, uh, this is what I got so far. Let me see, can you see that? Whoa, this is dirty top wood. Yeah, this is what I got. The other side, they're going good. Uh, I'm going to let this dry up. And I'm going to go over it again. So yeah, the first, I'm just, it's kind of really wet, so I'm going to let it dry up. Maybe do it uh, later on in the day or tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks, and I'm gonna be doing the uh, top portion of it, the seats. Right, I just did the bottom ones right now. I'm gonna do the top ones next and let them dry, and then start with the bottom again. Hit it again, and hit the top again, and it should be good. It should be nice and clean. And after that, I'm gonna clean all this. The dash, the middle, all the center. I might clean the roof because it's kind of dirty. And I might get a, uh, I have a stereo Pioneer one, uh, my friend gave it to me when I bought it, but he didn't give me the harness with it, so I might get the harness, the harness with the little bottom uh, center console thing, so I might order one of those to sell it with it, but yeah, that's what I got so far, dude, this spray is really good, and I'm using a brush, first one I'm doing is I'm spraying it down with the spray, the chemical spray, and then with the brush, I'm hitting it with the brush, I'm scraping it with the chemical spray, then after that, I'll let it dry up a little bit. Then I, I grab this uh, full uh, hot water, fill it with hot water, and I just drip it on the seat. And then and then uh, fast with the towel, I scrub it. I'll scrub it like all around so it won't dry up, like so it won't sink in under the seat. I just keep scrubbing it, scrubbing it. And then with the dry towel, I go over it and try to dry it up. But yeah, that's what I got so far. This chemical is really working. A little update. I'm taking off the glue that was on this before, on this little console, and this uh, this goes on, it goes on the cover in the middle console. As you can see, it's already nice and clean. I'm just what I right now I'm doing. I'm just taking off the old glue that the previous owner had on it. 
with the scissors I'm just take that off so I could have a clean surface to re-glue it all right guys so what I'm doing now is um, I'm about to use longer longer uh, screws to screw it on the thing because these stock ones the ones that had it on these little tiny ones they were too short and they weren't going all the way through to this like I think my friend I think he just glued it and glued the other thing because it was coming off he just glued it I'm about to use longer screws because then it will just go through the longer ones and it will pierce through this one so I could, so I could get a good see I might be doing that and for the front ones it's not like that it doesn't have the where it goes all the way through so I'm gonna just uh, glue the front and it should be good using these longer ones all right day two uh, the last time I left off was cleaning the seats. The seats are pretty good right now. They're nice and clean. I still gotta put the middle middle console on. I'm still working on that thing. Uh, today, today what I'm doing is I'm taking off the quarter intake and putting the stock one back on. As this one, I got it from the junkyard. I still have the other one, but my old one of this was ripped. So I'm, I got that from the junkyard. I'm gonna be putting the stock airbox in because it won't pass the mod with this one it's not illegal so yeah that's what i want to be doing today i want to loosen up those bolts right there take out the thing and put the stock airbox in yep so i got the quarter intake off now it's time to put in the stock Alright guys, so this is going to be a wrap for this video. The next video I'm going to be doing the uh, flushing out the brakes, which I'm going to do today. I'm going to be posting that next week, but this is coming up this weekend. So this is the car, 95 on the Ford, I'm trying to resell it. Uh, I'm going to be changing the rims to back to stock. And I'm going to clear these up. And it has a dent on here that I'm going to be fixing. This dent right here. I'm going to be fixing that. Putting the stock wheels back on, flush the brakes. It should be good for sale. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe on my channel to keep you uh, updated on this car. See if I flip it, see if I not, see what happens. So, yeah, thank you and peace out.